the help of the Almighty, I pray to the Almighty to bestow upon me his truth, his wisdom, that I may be worthy of conveying his message, and so, inshallah, bring peace to the world and sanctify his name. Assalamu alaikum. I don't have the privilege to come to Boston often. I live in New York. But we're here. But unfortunately, it's a very sad, sad time to come. Nobody would have dreamed, nobody would have thought it's possible that it's humanly possible that we could be going so many days, day after day, day after day, for holding by four months. This is unbelievable. It's inhumane. It's something that's ungodly. Murder, mass murder. What we are seeing that is being perpetrated by people that are called human beings. People that are happen to be claiming what they are doing, the Zionist state of Israel, claiming to be doing something in the name of God, their flag has a symbol of religion on it. They claim they're speaking in the name of a religion, of a godliness, and every single day they reveal to the world what this is really. It's a demon, it's the Satan, it's not godliness. Murder, mass murder, torture, oppression beyond words. And yet that flag flies, and in many communities here in the U.S., government entities, town halls, wave that flag in support. They pass laws. Our United States of America gives money in the billions of dollars, and they didn't stop. But on the contrary, they tried to push through to give another bunch of billions of dollars. How, how could we stop and be silent when this, this mass murder, this ungodliness is going on continually? We as Jews around the world, and I'm including my brothers and sisters in Palestine, in Al-Quds in Jerusalem, we are hurting, we are crying, we are frustrated, we are humiliated, we cannot be silent, we are in silence. Many of my brothers and sisters constantly go out. We have demonstrations, I don't know if you've seen some video clips going viral of Jewish people, religious people demonstrating in Jerusalem and being viciously attacked yeah. and why is this happening because what they're saying is truth they're not coming with some type of ideology they're not coming with some type of surprising element what the zionist wants to disparage as fringe fringe judaism no what they're coming to say the pure facts of what judaism is Judaism is subservience to God, a religion of 3,000 years. And Zionism, this movement, nobody can refute that it is a mere hundred odd years. It's not more than that. How dare they speak in the name of a stolen religion? How dare they speak in the name of Judaism? It's a fact. It's a fact that in Europe, when this movement of Zionism began, all the rabbinical authorities stood up in vehement opposition. They said, these are a bunch of heretics. Who are they? What are they? Theodore Herzl, somebody who declared that the solution is that Jews should convert out of their religion with music and pride in Vienna. He wrote this, he wrote this in his diary. Theodore Herzl, the father of Zionism. Zeb Jabotinsky, the revisionist head Bacon's mentor wrote in the Horus magazines in the 20s, he wrote that Jews who have beards and earlocks should not have, should be second class citizens and not have the right to vote in that state that they're going to create. These are facts on the ground, these are written. They were not, they were not ashamed of what they held. They weren't trying to create a religious state.
thing. They were not trying to do something for God. They had a selfish plan of nationalism. And they simply, after a while, when they saw they needed massive support, they masqueraded themselves in my religion, in Judaism. They put on this holy facade. And then they went. And anything that stood in the way of their creation of their national home, they murdered, they sacrificed on their altar of their nationalism, of their Zionism. Hey. It's not only since 1948, we're talking about October 7th, we're talking in 1948, but way before then, since the Battle of Desperation, they've been slaughtering, they've been killing, they've been occupying, they've been oppressing, they've been oppressing the people, the Palestinian people. I carry around always some documents and pictures Anybody goes to NKUSA, you can see how the Jewish people are being oppressed, assassinated since the beginning of Zionism because they stood in opposition to their creation of the Zionist state of Israel from day one. And the chief rabbi of the Jewish community in Palestine, Rabbi Dushinsky, in 1948 pleaded with the United Nations and he said, I'm quoting him, we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. This was the head of the Jewish community. I apologize, it was in 1947. July 16, 1947, he pleaded with the United Nations and that Jewish community that is still thriving stands daily in the streets of our courts of Jerusalem and other parts of the occupied land and pleads with the world, hear the voices of Jews who are true to our religion of 3,000 years and ignore the voice of these killers, of these thieves, of these counterfeiters who have stolen the name. But the Satan has been very powerful. And the Satan is successful. God knows why the Almighty gives them this power. But what they're doing is satanic. It's not holy. It's not Jewish. It has nothing to do with righteousness, with humanity. It has to do with the evil. It is pure evil. This occupation is pure evil. How dare they use the name of Judaism, the name that our grandparents, my grandparents died in Auschwitz. Our generations to 2,000 years died to uphold this religion. How dare they take this beautiful religion and use it to kill and to murder and maim and to occupy. We will not be silent. They can say what they want, but any community around the world, whether it's in Argentina, or in Canada, or here in the U.S., or in Al Quds, Jerusalem, the very religious communities, the ones that are true to Judaism, stands in a total and vehement opposition to the existence, to the mere existence of the Zionist state of Israel. It is politically incorrect. Oh yes, it is politically incorrect, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Zionism is not Judaism. Zionism is a nationalism of a hundred odd years, a selfish occupation, a selfish, evil occupation that has no justification, no legitimacy, not in humanity and not in spirituality, not according to the Torah. They have no connection to Judaism. Understand that and stand up and do not be intimidated. You are not anti-Semitic by speaking up against the occupation. On the contrary, on the contrary, supporting Zionism is a simple, logical creation of anti-Semitism because people start hating Jews because of the evils of these Zionists. They look at Jews, they don't understand to differentiate between this holy religion what the religion says, my 
Israel no 
Thank you so much. Thank you for 